Suppose you want to take on a project that requires you to scrape data from a different website, but you have absolutely no access to that website's backend. Do you think this is a project you can do in R? Okay, so in just a couple of minutes, we'll jump into our demo. But first, we need to make sure that we have all of the right tools for this project. Let's get started in RStudio. Now, there are a few R packages that you can use for web scraping. They're all pretty good, but today we'll be looking at the RVest package. Why? Well, let's do some research on RVest. Type this in to your R console. Package, description, and then in quotes, rvest. Now the reason we picked rvest over the couple other options that we have is because when we look at the author and maintainer of this package, it's Hadley Wickham. Now if you don't know who Hadley is, here's all you really need to know. He's pretty much a rock star in the R community. So I trust Hadley, I trust him as an author and as a maintainer, and I want to use a product that he's put out. Other ones might be good, but I trust this one. So let's go ahead and move forward with installing this package. Now the great thing about R is that the syntax is pretty intuitive. We'll type in install.packages, and then in quotes we'll key in rvest. Hit enter, and R will do the rest of the heavy lifting for you. In my case, that just took a couple of seconds. At this point, we're almost ready to move forward with our demo. If you are an HTML, CSS, XML, if you know all that web voodoo, you actually are ready to move on to this demo. Skip ahead, pass this next part, and we'll get started. But if you're like me and probably most of the other people watching this video right now, stay tuned because we're going to discuss Selector Gadget. Selector Gadget is a free tool that you can download for Google Chrome and it will make this next part so easy for you. It's one of those tools where I, I didn't have it for a while and I downloaded it and now that I've got it, I can't imagine ever not having it. Stay tuned. All right, we are at selectorgadget.com. To get here, just type this into your address box, selectorgadget.com. Alternatively, I'll also post a link in the description below for you to get to here. Once you're here, all you really need to do is scroll down to the bottom and either download their Chrome extension or drag and drop that link right here into your bookmark bar. So at this point, we've downloaded the right package in R and we've downloaded the Selector Gadget tool for Google Chrome we can finally start with our demo. Now our demo is actually going to be rather straightforward. We're now at Google News and our objective is to scrape this web page, the entire thing, for any keywords. Those are things right here like Las Vegas, Rex Tillerson, Hurricane Nate. We've also got some comments about President Barack Obama, President Donald Trump, the Affordable Care Act, we want to take all of these keywords and we want to scrape them where we can just write a script rather than having to navigate back to this page, let's say daily. Here's what we do. Up here, select Selector Gadget. And down here, you can see it's, it's starting to highlight some of the different things that it can select for us. In this case though, what we care about are these particular keywords, so let's just click on one of them. And you can see as soon as I click on one of them, Selector Gadget highlights everything of that particular class. Now, say I wanted to also include some of the recent stories, I could come down here and click on that. And Selector Gadget will start including all those, but in my case I don't really care about all that, I really only care about these keywords. So when I've selected it, Selector Gadget down here spits out this little line of code. Pay attention to that, but we're not going to do anything with it yet. 
Instead, I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to select and copy and to our clipboard the Google News URL. Now that it's copied, we're going to transition on over to our studio. And in our studio, we need to do a couple of things. We've already downloaded and installed our vest, but we need to call it into our memory. So let's go ahead and just key it into library our vest. And let's do the same thing for dplyr. And dplyr, if you're not familiar with it, um, I'll do another video on it soon. But dplyr is part of this um, tidyverse, hadleyverse um, series of tools. It makes life really easy. It really um, expedites the entire process. Um, if you're not familiar with it, go watch another YouTube video, but pretty soon I'll do my own. Um, if you like this video and you like the way I do it, um, keep an eye out. Hopefully I'll have it up here in the next couple of weeks or so. But we're going to go ahead and uh, load dplyr into memory as well. Now that that's here, what we want to do is start with our code. Now, we are scraping, in this case, Google News. So I'm just going to create an item called Google. And here I'll type in HTML and I'll paste that URL that we just copied a moment ago. The effect of doing this is it now allows R to go out and scrape the entire HTML code, the whole thing, for this website. And you can see here it's loaded it into my global environment. Now that I've got the HTML code pulled in, I can now start having some fun with this. So let's go ahead and type in Google. Uh, these, these pipes, that percent sign uh, with, the, uh, with the arrow followed by another percent sign, read that as and then. So I want to take the Google HTML code and then I want to key in HTML nodes and here for HTML nodes I want to paste in what we just saw in Chrome. So let me come back over here and I want to copy now this code. So I'm going to come here, copy and I'm going to come right back over to our studio and I'll paste that piece of code that we had that it spit out for us in Selector Gadget. And then I want to extract the text. I hit enter and voila. We've got all of the different keywords right here in front of us. We can move them into a table, we can do some analysis, we can maybe do, um, you know, maybe do this for over a couple of days and really, you know, save, you know, each day's keywords into a table, maybe eventually do some, um, you know, do some really, really fun, um, maybe histograms to see, you know, what stays popular, what doesn't, how long do things stay popular for in, in a typical news cycle, um, all these different things, you know, maybe what's the most popular keyword over the course of a month. You, you, you get the idea, you can do a lot with it. But here in just a few moments, what you just saw, we, with really just a couple lines of code, were able to scrape the top, in this case, it looks like 76 keywords off of the Google website. Hey folks, so that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I really enjoyed making it for you. If you did like it, be sure to comment down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, do all that fun stuff that YouTube loves to see, and give me the feedback that I need to keep making more of these videos for you.